welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for Thursday, the 18th of January, 2018. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. And thank you to those of you that have donated to the channel. It is much appreciated. And thank you to those of you that have written in about, written in, well, emailed about Valentine. Who's <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> There she is. <laughs> oh, lovely. Right on cue. <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> okay, this is for all astrological signs of the zodiac for Thursday. But, oh, 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 oh. Okay, it's going to be like that. I'm using the mythic tarot. We're considering the Capricorn new moon energy. And we're going to, oh, we're going to see, oh, <laughs> what we can see. Wow. Okay, I have a couple more, I think. Wow, one more. We talked yesterday about the Capricorn New Moon energy and a lot of you commented, which I appreciate, because I was feeling, you know, that rather than this hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work, we go, we've got our planets in Capricorn, let's do it, as Shia LaBeouf would say. I don't think so. I think there's more of a wobbly vibe going on. I think there's more of a internal consideration process going on. I think there's some swings and roundabouts. Now chariot major arcana this was what we were talking about in fact this was the one that came up and it's still here it represents cancerians it represents the moon in terms that that rules cancerians and also these two horses keeping the chariot upright while these two horses are trying to head off in opposite directions is exactly what i'm thinking about with this new moon energy in capricorn <laughs> Valley Bobs is chasing her own tail. There's a little bit of dog in Valentine, <laughs> which I really like. <laughs> Sorry. So, this, this has come up twice. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Now, what's also come up with it is a couple of pentacle cards. Three of pentacles in the reverse and the nine of pentacles she's going crazy behind me three of pentacles is my sharing out work card sharing out tasks sharing out responsibilities sharing out money whatever need be because it's pentacles if you've got the chariot and you're kind of in different moods you're in two minds one minute you want to go forward the next minute you want to go back you're not sure this can be being not sure about jobs being not sure about who to tell things to, secrets, um, who to <laughs> delegate with. She's caught a tail, we're all right. And then we've got the Nine of Pentacles, Conchita from Eurovision. I love that. And this is in the reverse as well. I'm getting not sure who to trust, especially in terms of who to put your financial future in the hands of, who to sign up with employment-wise, who to share things with at work, it's all that, or how to proceed. And I think that it's okay. I think that the the energy is still hanging over from 2017 and some of the um, disillusionment <laughs> that goes with it. And I think it's we're taking our time to build up and I think that's good. And also this is just getting there. You know, it's not a straight line. It's just this continuous energy of between one thing and another changing your mind one way or another thinking um i'm trying to think what the biblical thing is bread or mammon i think it is in other words spirit or money you know actually what i think will probably happen in the end is they'll come together and it can be both oh, okay She's playing with the catnip snake and she's winning. We have the nine of wands in the middle. And this is about being undefended and feeling a bit vulnerable 
And I think quite a lot of us are feeling a bit undefended and vulnerable. And I think that's also part of this energy of the new moon as well. And then we also have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands usually is in a hurry to get somewhere. He really wants to, let's go. But you can't, not when one wants to go one way and one wants to go the other. What you do then is have a much more interesting ride. <laughs> it's what makes life interesting. Now, this person, the Emperor, traditionally represents Ares. This is Zeus, so he's like king of the Olympian gods. He's got his world in his hand, his eagle and his lightning, so he's pretty pleased with himself. Now, this figure is also my CEO card. So I do feel that whatever this prevarication is that we have at the moment between one thing or another, love, money, spirit, money, job, share, don't share, keep, secrets or blab, whatever it is, I feel like he will have a part to play in it. Especially if it's to do with work. This is a management thing. This is someone who's a high up. It is a masculine card as well. Emperor is also the father card represents father of the tarot, can represent for us issues to do with our father, uh, good, bad or otherwise, or if it's to do with family money, that kind of thing, what they used to call primogeniture, the, the passing down of goods, because that's also this three of pentacles. So there may be some toing and froing about that, about settling something, about giving something out, about dealing with something. Hello, sweet pants. How are you? Yes. You fought the snake and won, haven't you, Valentine? Well done. Well done. If only it was full of treats. Yes. I'll let you out in a minute, honey pot. Round and round. I love this card because it's about the spiral and we get to <laughs> that small cowboy. I kind of that is my spiral dance. In other words, it's not a straight line. There are twists and turns, but the twists and turns are what make things interesting. And also that's the light and shade, which is what you get in the white and the black horse. And it's light and shade and it's contrast that gives us something to go for and something to avoid. Let's have a healing with the angels oracle card. Now I want that one, but that one's there too. Yay! <laughs> that was weird because I had a whole, I want that one, but I can't not take that one. And now I know why I can't take that one. Okay, surrender and release, which always, which is really weird, reminds me of a bowling ball. As if she's just gonna like strike, but it's not. It's an amphorae, <laughs> a little bit more spiritual than a bowling ball. But nevertheless, surrender and release. That's the process we're going through with this chariot card and with the moon energies. And also, we've got an eclipse coming up at the end of the month, and then miracles comes up. Woo! My favourite favourite card. We're gonna yank the miracles chain like that woohoo I love it okay miracles 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 and I feel like they come from that very very nice if you want a private reading you can book in the description box or visit my website gemstonetarot.com have a look at your 2018 readings those are up and also your love Love Thang readings are up. That's from the 15th of January to Valentine's Day, which is your day, Valentine. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.